Hi everyone, welcome to Storytime with Michelle. I'm so thankful that you're here with me for a story read aloud. Please take a moment to subscribe to the channel. I love reading stories aloud and I think it's something that we should all do every single day. And the book that I've selected to read today is about, well, it's about something that we should also do every single day. And it's about sharing kindness. It's called Be Kind, and it was written by Pat Zietlow Miller and illustrated by Jen Hill. You know, being kind can mean so many different things, and it's important to remember that any act of kindness, no matter how big or how small, can really make a huge difference. So, I'm excited to share this book with you. Let's have a look at the cover. Looks like someone is being kind right here. I see this little girl with a yellow umbrella and she's sharing it with another little girl who's walking in the rain. That's very kind, isn't it? All right, let's read. Be Kind by Pat Zietlow Miller, illustrated by Jen Hill. Tanisha spilled grape juice yesterday. All over her new dress. Everyone laughed. I almost did too but mom always tells me to be kind, so I tried. I don't think it worked. I said, purple is my favorite color. I thought Tanisha would smile, but she ran into the hall instead. When she came back, snack time was over. She put on her art smock and didn't look at anyone. Oh, I think she's feeling embarrassed. I almost told Tanisha that art was my favorite class, but I didn't want her to leave again. So I painted purple splotches and added some green until I had a bunch of beautiful violets. While I painted, I thought about Tanisha. Should I have handed her my napkin? Let her borrow my sweatshirt? Spilled my juice so everyone stared at me instead? What does it mean to be kind anyway? Maybe it's giving. Making cookies for Mr. Rinaldi who lives alone. Letting someone with smaller feet have my too tight shoes. He might win races in them too. Maybe it's helping. Putting dirty dishes in the sink. Cleaning up after Otis, our class guinea pig. He's a messy eater. Maybe it's paying attention. Telling Desmond I like his blue boots. Asking the new girl to be my partner. Listening to Aunt Franny's stories. Even the ones I've heard before. Being kind should be easy, like throwing away a wrapper or recycling a bottle or saying, thank you, bless you. My mom says the quickest way to be kind is to use people's names. Hey, Carla. What's new, Omar? Good afternoon, Rabbi Mendelbaum. Being kind can be hard too. Even when you know what to do, teaching someone something I'm good at is tricky, even when I'm patient. Looks like she's helping her little brother learn his ABCs, but he's making quite a mess, isn't he? And sticking up for someone when other kids aren't kind is really hard. And really scary. Maybe I can't solve Tanisha's grape juice problem. Maybe all I can do is sit by her in art class and paint this picture for her because I know she likes purple too. Maybe I can only do small things, but my small things just might join small things other people do. And together, they could grow into something big. Oh, it looks like they're knitting together. And she knit a scarf for her friend at school. Something really big. So big that all our kindnesses spill out of our school, spread throughout town. I like this picture because you can see everybody doing different acts of kindness. Donating clothes, holding the door open for somebody. This lady is getting some get well flowers for somebody who might not be feeling well. This family is adopting a pet and this lady's helping a little girl carry her books. Oh, and this lady is helping this couple read a map. Travel across the country and go all the way around the world. Look at all the different ways we can be kind, helpful, thankful. Right back to Tanisha and me. 
so we can be kind again and again and again. Oh, I think Tanisha really liked that picture, didn't she? She's hanging it up on her wall. The end. Wow, that was a really great book. And I just love the illustrations. They did a fantastic job of showing us so many different ways that people were kind all over the world. And I really love the message that even a tiny act of kindness can join up with another tiny act of kindness. And together they can form a wave of kindness that can travel all around the world and come right back to us. Well, I hope that seeing the pictures helps you think of kind things that you can try doing for others and for yourself and for animals and for the environment. Join Storytime with Michelle on Facebook and look for our book club and let me know all the acts of kindness that you perform after reading this book with me. I can't wait to hear how you share kindness in the world. Until next time, happy reading.